What's up everybody? This is John G and we're back with another tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use FL Studio via Rewire with Reason. In the previous tutorials that we did I showed you how to work FL Studio with Pro Tools via Rewire and also I showed you how to use Pro Tools with Reason via Rewire. So now I'm going to show you how to use your FL Studio with Reason via Rewire. It's a very simple process, not painful at all, so check it on out. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to load up a channel for our Rewire. So let's go up to Channels and then go down to rewire rewired okay and now let me just go ahead and delete this channel I never like to have more than what's necessary so well, let's get that out of there okay now so when you bring up your rewired channel you get this little dialog box here and so now we gotta go ahead and make the connection from FL Studio to Reason so what you wanna do right down here where it says client you just wanna left click on that and whatever you have installed in your computer, you're going to get a little list of, you know, I have Reason, I got Melodyne. You're going to get this list here. Let's go ahead and select Reason. So as you can see, that changed from Rewire to Reason. So now we have a Reason channel. But it's not open yet. We still have to open up Reason. So what you want to do is right here next to uh, your client channel, you want to left click on Show Panel. Click that up and that's going to bring up your Reason dialog box. And you'll always get this little... Uh, MIDI input problem whenever you're using rewire I'll just go ahead and click OK that's fine so now what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and load up a mixer and I'm gonna load up a uh, let's go ahead and load up redrum okay and let's go ahead and load up uh, let's go ahead and load up a uh, mouse drone boom okay okay now audio outputs right one and two keep that in mind audio outputs one and two I'm gonna show you why in a minute okay so let's go back to FL Studio now what we have to do is click on MIDI options okay and this is important right here you want to make sure that you have your hardware interface okay you want to you want to select that and then click add change now your hardware interface two okay that's pertaining to one and two right here that's audio output one and two so those channels are going to be dedicated just for that okay and as you can see our mixers on channel two and their read drums on channel three and then our mouse drums on channel four so keep that in mind okay so hardware interface click add change and then click OK okay boom okay so now the next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and load up a MIDI out channel so let's go up to channels okay and go down to MIDI out okay, so right here where it says channel this pertains to uh, bring it back up again this is gonna pertain to right here okay so your channel I can't bring them both up at the same time but okay so your MIDI out okay now we're gonna go channel 3 because we know that by looking at our MIDI options our read drum is on channel 3 okay and then on channel 4 we're gonna have mouse drum so go ahead and just rename this real quick it's always important to name your tracks most definitely alright so let's go ahead and rename this read drum boom okay now Let's see if we hear any sounds. Boom. Perfect. There we go. All right. Now let's go ahead and add another MIDI out. And I'm going to use this for mouse drum. So we're going to make it channel four. So remember, one and two is dedicated for your audio output. Three is going to be for whatever you have assigned to channel three. In this case, we have redrum assigned to channel three. And then channel four, we're going to have mouse drum. So let's go ahead and just rename this real quick. Just put MAL, boom, done. Okay, so when I have the read drum selected, place the drums. When I have the mouse drum selected, and so on and so forth. You know, as you can see, go ahead and bring a mouse drum. Okay, we got it. Tweak it out a little bit. Okay, and then if we're selecting uh, read drum, getting your drums. All right, and that's how you do it for your rewire. So rewires is such a powerful tool, man, because it just opens up a lot of opportunity to just be more creative. You know, this isn't just for uh, FL Studio and Pro Tools. You can do this with Ableton, uh, Cubase, you know, whatever, you know, Sonar, uh, you know, whatever programs that, that are going to allow you to use rewire, you know, you'll have access to all these other programs and still use your favorite program and, you know, but have access to all the other programs that you like. You just have it all in one session. Okay, now just keep in mind also that now Reason is now a slave to FL Studio. So when you want to lay down your tracks, you just go ahead and just lay them down. So, all right, so let's go ahead and lay down a little something with Reason Rewire. All right. Let's 
go ahead and quantize that. Alt Q, select, boom. Let's go ahead and lay down our hi hats. Yeah. All right. Now we got our hats in there. Quantize. Alt Q. Boom. Done. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, let's add a little something else extra to this. Yeah. Go ahead and stop that quantize because my plane's a little sloppy you know alt q all right let's play that back yeah all right and that, so that just shows you a basic kick snare and a hi-hat with some right chords just really brings it out so go on ahead and practice that and uh, if you have any tutorial requests hit me up epsproductions at gmail.com and I look forward to hearing from you. So see you on the next one. God bless.